Blessed is our God, who is now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, ever present and filling all things, treasure of blessings, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, who mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, who mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, who mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us on our sins. Master, we're free of our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to their faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on your cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Glad in our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace, an invincible standard, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications, gracious and all praise Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those that you've called to govern, and grant them a victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me, many of those who rise up against me, many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God? But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I woke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's, upon your people will be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath there is no soundness in my flesh, there is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me, they have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooped and exhausted wreck, I stumbled, mourning all the day. My loins are burning with fever, my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the lights of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man, and I heard them not, as a mute man, and opened not my mouth. As a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I place my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, Oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who are rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought only justice. O Lord God, forsake me not, stay not far away from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I place my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. 
My soul has thirsted for you, and all my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choicest fare, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand upholds me. But for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword. The prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach out to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help left for dead. Like the lie was... Like a man beyond help left for dead, like the slain left to lie in the grave. Those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness, and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. We work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Has anyone seen your love in the grave, your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and may all this within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins, who heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption, who crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repair evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity and to all eternity for those who fear him, and his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord established his throne in heaven. Over all things his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, and every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not in the judgment of your servant, since of all the living known is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest it be like those who go down to the pit. Grant that I may hear of your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Lord, deliver me from my enemies, it is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. In your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea. In your righteousness, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable priest, with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. <laughs> For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Theos, Kyrios, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When the women disciples of the Lord had learned from the angel the joyful message of the resurrection and had rejected the ancestral decision, they cried aloud to the apostles triumphantly, Death has been despoiled, Christ God has risen, granting his great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eni ordani baptizum menus su Kyrie, itis triados efan erothi proskinisis, tu gar genitoros iphoni pros e martirisi, agapiton se ion onomazusa, ket to pnevma eni di peristeras, Eve veu tu logu to asfales, o epifanis Christe o Theos, que ton cosmon potizas doxasi. Tenique ai que estu se honesto neonon amin, en urdani baptizam anus sugirie, itis triados e panerothi proskinisis, tu gar genitoros, Iphoni prosa martirisi, agapitom saion, onomazusa, ketopnema eni di peristeras, eveve utu logu to aspades, o epifanis Christe o Theos, ketongosmon, for 
Gottes an Loxam Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, most blessed, holy and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Get in flow and to Angelum in Ferrus. A mirror for his syndrome of existent Olegusse. Ara e clapi, O Tolisti, Anixas Paradisus. Ara e Gerti, O Sepropatus, Tirixas, Tineyersin. Alithos, San Esti Christos, O Theos, Tisena di Parechon, Zoe Ge Anastasi. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, by your voluntary will, O Savior, you endured the cross, and by mortal man were you, into a new tomb in turn, who by your word had created the entire world. Therefore being bound was the enemy death, plundered of his spoils catastrophically, and those in Hades all together cried aloud, at your life-bearing resurrection. The Christ is risen, the life bestower, and he abides forever. Can he get high, yes, to say all that's going on on a minute? I've been fun and also I need a dying sight. Can Baptist and a soul if a brother of Christ? He can be man or sinner, a martyr. Oh, thank you, sinner, our cross. To Patrick, a fan of us. Remember to all you. I peace and quiet. And O Jefferty stands as woman, looks at the auto and triadic. O Savior, immortal as you are, from Hades you rose, by virtue of your own resurrection, raising your world together, O Christ our God, mightily you have broken. Death's dominion, O Master, you as the Lord of mercy showed to all the resurrection. We therefore glorify you who alone love humanity. Lord, so patrice, O Jehovah's Pneumati, Cati Petra Proserton, Eta i Petra Tizois, Lef Himonon an e Krav Gazetas, Leuses, Pasas de i Min, Distrino du Kravis, Ecus e a i, To e f simbatiton, on God, ziti te kleuse, arsite o salithos exe ierte. Dio voate, tis apostolis, o ti anesti. Both 
now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Jordan River, tell us do. What did you see and were amazed? I saw naked him whom none can see and shuddered in fear. And how was I not to shudder at him and be frightened? The angels, when they saw him, also shuddered in awe. And heaven was astonished and astounded was earth. The sea recalled along with all things, both visible and invisible. For Christ appeared in the river Jordan to sanctify the waters. Oh, 
again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and most glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The women bearing myrrh hurry to declare the matter of your paradoxal rising to your apostles, O Christ, that as God you arose, granting the world great mercy. <clears throat> You, the haters of Zion, be put to shame by the Lord, for like that in fire. You will be completely dried up. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit, every soul rejoices, receives life, and through cleansing is lifted and brightened. In a hidden secret manner by the trinal monad. <laughs> Whosoever has acquired hope in the Lord is superior to all whatsoever might grieve him. Both now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit do the streams of grace well forth. They irrigate everything created so that life be engendered Whereas one has filial affection for his mother, for the Lord we ought to have a love even more fervent. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the wealth of knowledge of God, contemplation and wisdom. For in him the Logos discloses all the dogmas of the Father. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us. Because of the glory of your name. O oh God, we heard with our ears our fathers proclaimed it to us the work you performed in their days, in the days of old. Arise, O oh Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, Theotokos and the Virgin us. Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Savior and deliverer is he who raised up from the tomb and from the bonds those born on earth, for he is God, and he destroyed Hades, bars, and gates, and on the third day arose as the master of all. Oh, as the master of all. To him who rose.
those from, who from the dead arose, Christ the life giver, on the third day from the tomb, who crushed the gates of death today by the power which is his, who slew Hades and ground away the sting of death and rescued Adam and Eve. To him let us all, born on earth, now sing, earnestly shouting our grateful praise. For he alone, for he alone our mighty God, on the third day arose, as the master of all, as the master of all. On the eighth of this month, we commemorate the righteous mother Dominica of Carthage, who became illustrious in Constantinople. Heaven-minded Dominica, the earth forsaking, according to her love, to heaven ascended. On the eighth, the gloomy night of mortal doom took her of Dominical name. On this day, we commemorate the righteous father George of Hosova, for George, who sowed with tears, is now come the season. For him to reap with rejoicing and great gladness. On this day we commemorate the holy martyrs Julian and Basilissa, Celsus and Anthony the priest and those with them at Antinoe in Egypt. For Julian and Basilissa the martyrs whom the sword laid low are laid up many prizes. The sword removeth the head of blessed Celsus and with its head it taketh Anthony's also. On this day the holy martyr Caterius of Caesarea, we commemorate the holy high martyr Caterius of Caesarea in Cappadocia. Before sword and fire, O aged Carterius, thou showest that thy endurance is redoubled in thy wrestlings. On this day we commemorate our father among the saints Cyrus, Archbishop of Constantinople. The Synax is celebrated in the venerable monastery of Chora and in the great church of the Lord's Day. O my Christ, Cyrus, who cut thy flesh in portions, departed the flesh and at thy throne now standeth. On this day, Saint Atticus, Patriarch of Constantinople, reposed in peace. O Atticus, being passed beyond all that is fleshly, thou, being all mine, comest unto the mines in heaven. On this day, the holy prophet Semias the Elamite, who pro prophesied in the, in the days of King Reboam, son of Solomon, reposed in peace. Things to come on earth, Semias no more foretelleth, for this prophetic oracle is now in heaven. On this day, our righteous father Agatho of Egypt reposed in peace. How good Agatho became in heart and spirit, pondering the peaceful end thou alone bestowest. On this day we commemorate the holy martyrs of Christ, Theophilus the deacon, and Hilavius the layman of Libya. A yoke pair of men bear fire upon their back parts, being by the back parts of God overshadowed. On this day we commemorate our righteous father, Severinus of Nereicum. On this day we commemorate our righteous mother, Gudula, patroness of Brussels. On this day we commemorate our righteous mother, Pega of P. P. Kirk, sister of St. Guthlach of Crowland. On this day we commemorate the holy, heart, the holy martyr, Abu the perfumer of Baghdad, who was beheaded by the Muslims in the city of Tbilisi, Tbilisi in the year 786. As an arrow from a bow shot into heaven, even so hath Abba the martyr ascended. On this day we commemorate our righteous father, Emilian the confessor, bishop of Sisikos. On this day we commemorate our father among the saints, Gregory, bishop of Mosia, who reposed in the year 1012. On this day we commemorate the righteous martyr Gregory, the wonder worker of the Kiev case, who reposed in the year 1094. On this day we commemorate the righteous father Gregory, the recluse of the Kiev caves, who reposed in the 14th century. On this day we commemorate the holy higher martyr Isidore and the 72 Orthodox Christians martyred with him by the Latins at Uriev in Estonia in the year 1472. Refusing the false doctrines of them that sprinkle, Isidore and fellow received full immersion. On this day we commemorate the righteous father Paisius of Uglik, Proposed in the year 1504. By the holy intercessions of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. No. Teeth are broken, we all have been delivered. 
let us exult in, and our mouth let us widen, weaving melody from words unto the Logos, whose delight it is to bestow gifts upon us. Once burst by the fire of mystical vision, the prophet hymning the renewal of mortals, cried in a loud voice energized by the Spirit, telling the ineffable words incarnation, he it is who crushed the power of the praises. Our cross of all us, Javavarvaru, Manu, Eokathasi, Ramatonalu, Mani, Neoprosarmisliman, O Planitrivan, Agusamprosistot, Isafidian, Bonis prositin, Isaos kapilayin. With the blessed utterance proclaim the Father, Him He produced from the womb His beloved Son. Yes, He said, this is my own connatural offspring. Splendor of my line, now also born of mankind, both my living word and by providence mortal. He who retarded once the towering fire with the furnace that held the pious young men burned the dragon's heads in the streams of the river and the stubborn stain of sin he completely washed away therein with dew of the Spirit. A woman, a woman, the prosin woman, the Tyrion, a left a Ramanic tis in glory that the Eda photos. I bring a scotted man, monos the nazi, to scotted so prostate, ni nevlogito, sin donos tonation, I bring a Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. 
And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying, and the napkin which had been on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their home. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross do we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all the faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the yes. cross, yes. joy has come in all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and the secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me hear in joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from my guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. Do good, do good, O Lord, 
in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Lord, so patrice, oi, che agi o pneve mati, tas ton apostolon, presvies anaimon, ex alipson ta pliti, ton emon eglima kon. Both now and forever, and unto the of ages, amen, at the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and for honor John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hearts and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Christom, Athanasius Saron, John the Merciful, Patriarch of Alexandria, Nicholas Bishop of Mira, Spiridon Bishop of Trimitus, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious Great, Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mirobled, Theodore the Tyrn, and Theodore the General, Menas the Wonder Worker, the Hiero Martyrs, Haralambos, and Deleftherios, the Holy Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the glorious great martyr and Lord Polyphemia, the holy and glorious martyrs Tecla Varvara, Anastasia Katerini, Kiriaki Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irini, of our holy God bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us, hear us sinners who pray for you and have mercy on us. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of Light. <laughs> For he has regard the lowly state of his maid servant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim. And
and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. O Tia Pisa, mi megali audinatos, que agion tonum aptu, que to eleos aptu, is genean, que genean, is forum anisaton, in dimi o te, danton cheruvi, den doxotera, Asigrei tos ton serafi, dina dia thoros, teologon te kusat. Dinon tos teotokon, se megalino mai. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud, in the imagination of their hearts, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Catilia dinastas apotronon je ipsos et apinus, pinondas en eplis en agathon, que plutundas aixapas tilan genus, indimiotel anton cherubi, que en doxotelan asigritos ton serafi, he has put down the mighty, he has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Dilitros amani, imos ektis kataras. O toni perunun, tuntokus uthavamaton, nifi panagnes mitereblo. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Kyrios Odeos Imon. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Soy te 
to He also 
establish them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. <laughs> Fire, hail, snow, and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Be said all cattle, creeping things, and Flying fowls. Both young men and maidens, old men and children. This praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him, praise the Lord. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their King. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. To be sent up this grimae grafton, though sancti as the passi, this was his up to, O Stavroni for me, Nasjetanaton. Praise God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. O oh, Christ, by means of your cross, you have set us free from the ancient curse, and by means of your death, you have neutralized the devil, who tyrannized our nature, and by your rising, you filled all things with joy. Therefore we shout to you, who rose from the dead, glory to you, O Lord. Anite apton epites dynasties, apto anite apton, katato plithos tis megalos inis apto, nos ostavro Christe soti, odigis onimas, Thank you.
Φιλάνθρωπε κυρίε, τη πρεσβεία των Αγίων. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Only begotten, Logos of God, while departing not from the Father's bosom, you came to earth for love of humanity. Immutably becoming human, and you physically endured the cross and death. Although impassable in divinity, having risen from the dead, you granted the human race immortality as the only Almighty One. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Light from light, Christ our God has shone upon the world. He is God and he appeared to us. O peoples, let us worship him. Ενίτε από τον εγκυβάλι, σε πίκη σε νίτε από τον εγκυβάλι. Πάσα πνοή, ενέσα το τον κυρίω. Πόσε χρήστε, δούλη τον δεσπότη, αξιώστη μισό. Ότι εν της είδασι πάντα σημάσανε και νησάς. Thus he saw them and fled, then Jordan turned back. When you, our Savior, were baptized in the river Jordan, Sanctify the waters. You were touched by the hand of your servant and cured the world's passions. Great is the mystery of your economy, O Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. What is it to you, O sea, that you fled, and to you, O Jordan, that you turn back? The true light has appeared and bestows illumination on all. Christ is baptized with us, even though he is above all purity. And thus he infuses sanctification into the water, which then becomes the purifying agent of our souls. What is seen belongs to earth. But what is understood transcends the heavens. By means of a bath comes salvation. By means of water comes the Spirit. By means of immersion does our ascent to God come to pass. How wonderful are your works, O Lord. Glory to you. Tomb with much darkness 
discovering your mind such that you seek where Jesus has been laid but see how the disciples who ran to Gather understood the resurrection from the linen cloths and the napkin, and then remembered the scripture concerning this with them and through. the giver of life. <laughs> Save us, O God, and we be glorified the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. 
Today as salvation come to pass in the world, let us sing to him who resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and the great mercy. 